At 25, Francis TFO boasts three ATP titles, merging raw talent with fierce determination. Considered the U.S.'s next big player in men's tennis, this Maryland prodigy's recent setbacks raises the question, will Francis TFO ever fulfill his potential? Francis TFO had an eventful year in 2023 with a notable match against Ben Shelton in the U.S. Open quarterfinals. Shelton emerged victorious in a hard-fought contest. The match began with Shelton taking the lead by winning the first set 6-2, but TFO made a determined comeback, winning the second set. The third set was intense, with both players breaking each other's serve, and Shelton eventually won it in a tiebreak. In the fourth set, Shelton maintained his lead and secured the match, showcasing his resilience and skill. While TFO fought hard, Shelton ultimately emerged as the winner. In the end, Shelton said it best, it was an emotional battle. The 2023 U.S. Open quarterfinal might not have gone TFO's way, but earlier this year, the American tennis player had achieved a historic milestone. What was this great achievement exactly? Well, TFO secured his first grass court title at the 2023 Stuttgart Open, breaking into the ATP Top 10 for the first time. In a thrilling final against Jan Leonard Struff, he saved a championship point, triumphing after an intense two-hour and 12-minute battle. This marked the first instance since May 2012 when two Americans, TFO and Taylor Fritz, simultaneously held top 10 rankings. The Stuttgart victory was TFO's second title of the year following his earlier win on the clay courts of Houston. Back in April, Francis TFO claimed his first ATP title of the year in a thrilling final against Thomas Martin Echeverry at the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championship. TFO's journey to victory included not dropping a single set in four matches, securing his first clay court title in Houston. The opening set of the final was tightly contested with both players holding serve, but TFO dominated the tiebreak, eventually winning 7-6. In the second set, he earned a crucial break at 2-2. Despite facing a match point in the tiebreak, TFO secured the win with his 12th ace, concluding the match in one hour and 53 minutes. We can say that armed with his custom Yonex V-Core Pro 97 310 racket, TFO delivered a storm of aces, helping him win the final in Houston. And this triumph propelled him to a career-high ranking of number 11, marking his second ATP title and ending a four-year title drought. TFO's aggressive play and remarkable shot-making skills thrilled fans and marked his return to the winner's circle. After the match, TFO reflected on what it was like going up against his Argentinian opponent. I don't know you well, but I know you really well after today. It was an absolute war and an unbelievable final. The month before that, in March 2023, TFO advanced to his first Masters 1000 semifinal at Indian Wells by defeating Britain's Cameron Norrie 6-4-6-4. TFO was on a high after the match. I truly feel like when I'm there mentally, I'm one of the best players in the world. But this success wouldn't last long. He went on to face Daniel Medvedev in the semifinal, but it ultimately ended in disappointment for TFO. He fought hard, but lost to Medvedev with a score of 5-7, 6-7. The match was intense, with TFO giving it his all. But Medvedev had a history of winning against TFO, and though TFO saved several match points in the second set, he ultimately couldn't secure the win. Still, TFO showed determination throughout the match, and he continually charged the net to counter Medvedev's baseline game. Even Bianca Andrescu, impressed by the thrilling second set tiebreak, took to social media to share her excitement. OMG, she wrote on Instagram. After the intense match, even Medvedev said it was crazy at the end. It got super tight. Now, what other remarkable accomplishment did TFO achieve? Well, in September 2022, he played a pivotal role in Team World's historic Labor Cup victory over Team Europe. Despite initial challenges, TFO's outstanding performance contributed to Team World's unassailable lead, marking their first win against Team Europe. Despite some negativity on social media due to his wins against Nadal and Federer, TFO and his team celebrated this remarkable victory. One important thing, in preparation for his matches, TFO often relies on tennis analytics, studying his opponents, their strategies, and improving his game. This helped him a lot in the 2022 US Open, where TFO achieved something special. He defeated four-time champion Rafael Nadal in the fourth round, becoming the first American man to eventually reach the semifinals since Andy Roddick in 2006. TFO's victory was remarkable as he's the son of Sierra Leonean immigrants. He talks about how tennis was initially just a way to spend time with his parents and to escape the neighborhood. 
Over time, his talent became evident, and he aimed for a scholarship through tennis to access quality education. TFO's incredible win meant a lot to his parents, who worked tirelessly for their family's well-being. When talking about what his victory meant to his parents, he said, I'm a son of immigrants. Being around tennis was just us getting out of our neighborhood. It wasn't supposed to be like this. The journey to stardom, though filled with rigorous training and matches, also involves brand obligations, with TFO signing some lucrative brand endorsement deals, showcasing his growing market appeal. Notably, in 2020, Nestle's Nesquik enlisted him as its brand ambassador. Despite all the positive things in his life, TFO also faced some challenges during his 2023 season that led to some meltdowns on the court. In July at Wimbledon, he suffered a disheartening loss to Gregor Dimitrov in a match that ended 2-6, 3-6, 2-6, visibly frustrating him. During the game, while trailing 2-4 in the third set, TFO's frustration boiled over. He received a code violation warning for angrily hitting a ball high into the crowd and vented by repeatedly hitting his racket against his bag during a changeover, though he didn't damage the Wimbledon grass. TFO expressed his deep disappointment. To play this poorly is very depressing, especially at Wimbledon. I genuinely think I am one of the best grass court players in the world, but I didn't show it at all. I have to live with that. Back in April at the 2023 Barcelona Open, TFO experienced another meltdown. After losing the first set but winning the second, he grew increasingly frustrated during the deciding third set. In a moment of anger, he violently smashed his racket on the ground, resulting in a penalty that gave a point to his opponent, Emil Roussevori, who ultimately secured the victory. TFO had an impressive 19-5 win-loss record that season before this disappointing match. Many tennis legends hope TFO will save U.S. men's tennis. Andy Roddick, who was the last American man to win the U.S. Open, also hopes TFO can break the 19-year drought. At that time, TFO had just qualified for the 2022 U.S. Open quarterfinal. Roddick said, I like Francis a lot. I love his game. I think he's fantastic. I like the way he operates. I like his energy. In the tennis documentary Breakpoint, TFO also had a positive exchange with tennis legend Carlos Alcaraz. At the 2022 US Open, after a grueling five-set semifinal between Carlos Alcaraz and Francis TFO, cameras captured a heartwarming moment. TFO, exhausted but gracious, told Alcaraz to go win this thing and even predicted that the winner would become the world number one in tennis. In response, Alcaraz complimented TFO, calling him amazing and reminding him not to underestimate his greatness. TFO's journey to tennis stardom has been influenced by his hardworking immigrant parents, values of sacrifice, and inspiration from sports icons like LeBron James and Steph Curry. He overcame a period of inconsistency with coach Wayne Ferreira's guidance, focusing on fitness and hard work. Despite early recognition, he initially struggled with fame. Now he's poised to join the elite ranks of tennis. His story showcases the power of dedication and personal growth in achieving greatness in the sport. TFO also takes inspiration from defeating Juan Martin Del Portro on his way to his first ATP title in 2018, staying grounded and committed to giving back to his community. But when he isn't playing tennis, TFO has a few favorite things he can't do without. He's a self-proclaimed shoehead, loving stylish kicks, particularly Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro. Fun fact, at the US Open 2023 quarterfinals, TFO hit the court with his new signature sneakers, the fiery red Nike Big Foe sneakers, detailed with his name and origins. In addition to that, TFO is also a music enthusiast and relies on his Beats by Dr. Dre studio wireless noise-canceling headphones. From breaking into the ATP Top 10 to beating Rafael Nadal at the 2022 US Open, Francis TFO has shown a lot of potential as the next major player for US men's tennis. However, he's also faced his fair share of defeats and meltdowns on the court. It's hard to predict where he'll go from here, but with a bit more practice and self-control, TFO could be the next big player of the tennis world.